Why are debit cards treated as a second tier pay card at best whereas credit cards are first tier? I have a debit card, meaning I am 100% guaranteed to actually have the money or I can't use the card to pay for the transaction. It will refuse, even if it's just one cent over the amount I currently have in my bank account. It's Boolean. Super strict. Either I have the money or not. Zero flexibility. Just as want it. Meanwhile, a credit card will allow the consumer to buy things without actually having that money, with the assumption that he or she will pay it at some later point, up to a certain limit of course. It seems to me that a debit card, the kind I have and have always had, should make every money accepting entity roll out the red carpet for me and stick a big cigarette in my mouth while telling me how good my hair looks and how slim I look today, and do I want a complimentary drink to go. Instead, it's the exact opposite, I'm harassed and treated worse than dirt, oftentimes downright. Refused service entirely. For not having a credit card, even though a customer using such a card could be compared to a homeless person begging for change in the gutter. It makes no sense to me. Why is this completely backwards from how it should logically be? Why do they prefer the uncertainty of never getting paid over being 100% guaranteed to get the money? What kind of insane bizarro world have I ended up in? It's precisely because a charge on a debit card won't go through if you don't have the money. If you trash your hotel room or crash your rental car, charging the repair cost to a credit card is more likely to succeed than charging it to a debit card. Remember, it's the credit card company that takes the risk of you not paying, and not the retailer. The retailer gets paid immediately by the card company, and doesn't have to pay it back if you then fail to pay your credit card bill.